What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cass here, and we are here to break down why the Atlanta Falcons will win the Super Bowl in 2022. So, okay, this is gonna be a rough one. Um, they definitely have some problems on both sides of the ball. I like Mike Davis. I like bringing him. I think he did. He did okay for Carolina. And I like the fact that a team give, gave him an opportunity because after McCaffrey went down, I really like that some team gave him an opportunity. Also, I think this is a big chance for Russell Gage and Tanjay uh, Tanje Sharp because both Ta uh, Tanjay and Russell are going to have to step up if they're going to want to see any type of production here in Atlanta because Calvin Ridley and uh, Kyle Pitts can't be asked to carry this whole squad so Matt Ryan's gonna have to live up to what he thought he was before if they're gonna want to win some games um the offensive line's a bit of a struggle as well uh you do have Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst that's probably a bright point is the tight end position on offense uh on defense though you have some key players as well you have Deontay Fowler Grady Jarrett um Deion Jones AJ Terrell You've got some players that could definitely impact. You have a uh, veteran linebacker in uh, Brandon Copeland who could come in and probably help out some with the uh, younger players on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you're going to need another corner to step up. Maybe that's Fabian Monroe, who played decently with the Washington football team, previously the Washington Redskins. Um... They've also got some, they've got one of the best up-and-coming kickers in the league with Young Hoku. So maybe this team can be on the rise, but they're going to need a lot of help. And it's not also not helping that they're in a really rough division. And they are, there are some glaring needs on offense and defense. So, let's get into my season predictions. So when I go through the jet chart, that's what I think they need to perform well for them to win a lot of games. When I go to do this season predictor, that's when I that's this is what I actually think they're going to do. Currently I have Atlanta at 0 and 10, which means I do not think they're going to making the playoffs this year, which I don't. Um I think Atlanta is going to be one of the worst teams in the league. Um being generous I think they're gonna be generous I'll have them winning week one against New York. Uh, they're going to lose to Miami. I'll have them win out that game against Carolina. So they're 2-12. I'll have them win the game against Jacksonville, lose the game against Carolina there, and they beat Detroit. They go 3-14. and 14. They beat Detroit. They go 4-13. and 13. I feel like that's fair, being some of the moves we've seen made. Um, the thing is, if you keep Julio, maybe he gets you one or two of these wins. It, that's if he stays healthy as well, guys. I know we struggle with some injury issues. That's if he stays healthy. Maybe he gets you the win against New York, uh, New Jersey. I mean, mm, New York Jets. Maybe he gets you the win against Carolina the second time. Or, depending on how San Francisco's doing injury wise, maybe he gets you the win there. Um, there's a couple of these games. If Julio could stay healthy, uh, could win you these games. But they traded him to Tennessee. So I think four, four and third, yeah, four and thirteen is fair, and I think that's probably going to be one of the worst teams in the league, if I would break if I would break it down. And just to go ahead and add this to it as well, I'm gonna break down what I think of the Julio Jones trade. Um. Right, where do we? Uh, what are we gonna use for this? Let's use. Let's use ESPN. Here we go. Okay. So as I found out, in exchange for Julio Jones, the Titans will send a 2022 second round draft pick and a 2023 fourth to the Falcons 
And the Falcons will send a 2023 sixth along with Julio Jones. The deal is pending a physical, the Titans said. Excited to add, excited to add Julio to the football team. He is excited part of what we got going on in Nashville. It's a big deal for our team. Tennessee Titans general manager John Robinson said. And I believe that is true. They are in much need. We are in much need of a another playmaker at receiver since Davis left. And I feel like this is our way to get that playmaker having Julio Jones there. Now you have Julio Jones, A.J. Brown, Josh Reynolds, and you have Des Fitzpatrick, Batson, and Akini if you need them, along with our other draft pick, Racy McMath. This is looking to start to be a really good team, and I'm really liking this. Um, You've got some problems on the defensive side of the ball. Maybe cornerback's a little weak. you got Borders, Fulton, Molden, Janoris, and Farley. But maybe it's a little weak, but we'll just have to see how that season breaks out. That's what I think of the Julio Jones trade. Anyway, guys, this has been your boy Cass. I'll see y'all later. And signing out. Remember, if you guys liked it, to hit the like button. Subscribe if you really like it. And I'll see you guys in the next Why Your Team Will Win the Super Bowl video. Bye, guys.